Next to me, I have the bike of the 2016 stroke 17 National Dutch Road Race Champion, Dylan Groenewegen, who took that title in late June of 2016. This is his Bianchi Ultra XR4, which they released in July of last year at the Tour de France, which he has been using since then. As you can see, the team Lotto NL Jumbo have given him some specific graphics after his National Championships victory. They include the red, white and blue lion of the Dutch national flag, and here representing the royal family is a flash of orange coming towards the back. Now this is quite a big development from their Ultra XR2 in terms of both aerodynamics and also they claim comfort with their countervail technology throughout the carbon fibre frame. And it seems as though Grunewigen is enjoying riding this bike, he's taken a few victories on it already. The custom parts also go down here to the power meter where Pioneer have also done their power meter in the colours of the Dutch national flag. And the group set is an entire Dura Ace 1 from Shimano, the DI2, but it is the 9000 group set, not yet got the 9001 on their bikes. That goes through the shifters there, including the satellite sprint shifters, which he's got on the drop part of the bars. The cranks, which are 172.5 millimeters uh, with the 39 and 53 tooth chain rings. Pedals, front derailleur, rear derailleur, the cassette, which is 11 up through to 28. The wheels that he's using here at the Dubai Tour, which is of course primarily flat, are the C75 here at the rear, the deepest one they did before Shimano. They are changing to the C60 and C40 only. Uh, and the C50 there at the front presumably because it's been quite windy and he doesn't want to get pushed off his bike. Uh, Vision provide the handlebar and stem combination there at the front, that is their Metron 5D. Uh, try to measure the stem, quite hard to do because the, cut, the bars do kind of curve forward slightly from the front of the stem but it's of 12 centimetres I'm thinking and it measures 44 centimetres from the edge to the edge of the bars. Perched up on top is a Cell San Marco Regal saddle with the carbon rails there. As you can see, pretty flat and not much in the way of give there at the top. The bottle cages are provided by Tax and the tyres come from team sponsor Vittoria. Those are the open Corsa tubular versions in a 25mm width. And you can see down here that the mechanics have wrapped some tape around the valve. You'll see that quite often here on the pro bikes to stop the valves rattling along when they're going along in the race. So if you've got a rattle on your bike and you're wondering what it is, if you've got deep section carbon wheels, it might well be the valve stem rattling about. Let's so put some tape on it and that might solve the problem. Now it's a fairly compact Sprinter Grunewagen, so he's got quite a small frame as you can see. Uh, it's 75 centimetres from the centre to the top of the saddle, centre of the cranks, and his reach is just 53 centimetres. Yet to weigh it though, so I should do that now. So that is coming in at 7.4 kilograms. Now, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so by clicking on the globe. In the meantime, I've got a couple more videos that you might want to watch right now. Uh, last, he actually took a look at a whole load of custom bikes and kit at the Abu Dhabi Tour in 2016. And you can find that video by clicking down there. Or if you're interested in the power meter and you want to know how to use one of those and what to look at after you've done a training ride, we've got five key metrics you should look at in the other corner just down there.